hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here you're highly welcome i appreciate and love you thank you for coming by to support me please don't go away without liking sharing commenting and subscribing to my channel i love you and for my old subscribers hmm, guess what <laughs> i'm so happy we got to 535 already and guys i'm so humbled i love you guys for coming through for me you know this far and i promise by the time we get to 1k subscribers oh there's this joy in my stomach by the time we get to that i promise i'm going to do a giveaway of skincare products yes i will so let's try and get there my subscribers i love you i appreciate you thank you for coming by oh you made my day you <laughs> you made me oh thank you let me stop talking too much today uh let me go back straight to what i'm here for and that is giving you people the real thing and today i'll be talking about some skincare terminologies that we do not understand sometimes we we'll go to the supermarkets go to the shops to get skincare products and we read through and there are some certain terms used and we don't understand it i want to break them down some of them not all most of the ones we see most of the times i want to break them up so that we understand we will not be troubled when we we'll see them so guys first and foremost i'll be talking about the first terminology is not what is natural when you hear the word natural what comes to your mind it simply means that a particular product, when they say this product is, is a natural product it simply means that this product these products are drawn from natural sources from natural plants and have few synthetic ingredients in it few chemical ingredients in it most of them have like um can have like 90 percent or 95 percent of uh um, plant-based ingredients and maybe five percent or ten percent of synthetic or chemicals in it probably to preserve it all right this one is organic when you hear the word organic what what comes to your mind in skincare when we say something is organic it means that this thing this the, the ingredients in it are not made are not treated with chemicals they are not synthetic they are not chemically um derived they are not in simple and short form they are not treated with chemicals the next is fragrance free fragrance free when a product is said to be fragrance free it means that that product does not have any form of scent or fragrance in it either synthetic or natural it does not have any form of um of fragrance scent smell whatever in it right next is paraben paraben free or paraben paraben what do we mean by paraben paraben is um paraben is a preservative used to preserve skincare products so most times um some dermatologists um because this paraben this said paraben is chemically derived it's treated in so many so so many dermatologists said that it is not healthy for the skin so most people when they they are out for to look for skincare products they check if it has paraben or not so to to know which one to buy and which one not so bad this is hypoallergenic hypoallergenic what does that mean when you say this product is hypoallergenic it means that this product when you use it it will not cause any form of chemical reactions you will not be irritated when you use a particular cream that is said to be hypoallergenic next is non-commodogenic by this we mean that there are oils in a particular product but those oils are sure not to clog your pores so when you see that this product is 
is um, comedogenic. It means, it simply means that these products are oil-based products. They have some form of oils in it, but these oils are sure not to clog your pores or cause any form of irritations. All right. This is cos cosmocortical. It seem is it um it's simply a combination of two words, which is cos cosmetic and pharmaceutical. It means when you see a a, a product with this kind of labels, it means that the product is both a cosmetic product and a pharmaceutical product. The next is dermatologist approved or tested. It's who is a dermatologist? A dermatologist is a skin expert, a skin doctor, somebody that ha that has been certified to treat any skin condition. So when he says a dermatologist approved or tested, it means that a dermatologist has approved this a skincare expert is involved in the production of this product to certify that this product is good and effective and it won't be harmful to your skin. So that's what it simply means when you see this. The next is clinically tested. Clinically tested, we all know what clinic is. So when you see clinically tested, it means that this has been tested in a, in a cosmetic in a cosmetic um, clinic or laboratory to certify that this particular product or that particular product you're buying is is uh, safe and effective for use it's not going to cause you any problems hyperpigmentation. hyperpigmentation here simply means the formation of the formation of melanin on the skin sometimes caused by sunburn that can bring irritations like um, um, dark patches or redness on the skin. Most times it's dark patches. So when you see that a product is said to be to treat hyperpigmentation, just know that it is there to treat any form of um, dark patches or darkness, maybe around the eye or any part of the skin due to sunburn. Next, guys, is exfoliation. What is exfoliation? Exfoliation simply means the removal, the act of removing dead skin cells from your skin. Dead skin cells from your skin, whichever whether naturally or with products. So exfoliation is the act of removing dead skin cells from our skin. The next is essential oil. What are essential oils? Essential oils are oils that are derived from natural um, plants. Um, these oils are derived, are gotten from plants. Like we have coconut oil. Coconut oil is gotten from coconut, natural coconut. We have flaxseed oil gotten from flaxseed. We have so many oils, natural oil, essential oil. So when you say essential oil, it means that the oils in this are gotten from natural plants or are plant-based oils. Period. The next is detox. What is detox? Detox or detoxification is that act of removing toxins from our body. So when a product claims to detoxify it means that that product is sure is sure to remove toxins or drug toxins out from our skin like some of skincare products claim to 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 detoxify to 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 remove toxins to drag out toxins from our skin from our body finally guys emollient emollient it's um it's an ingredient used in skincare products to moisturize to mo what it does is to moisturize the body to give that body its natural 
moisture, moisture that when you use it you're not dried out so whenever you see a product that says it has emollients in it just know that you're getting a good moisturizer it's not a too big name once you see these names like this don't get scared i got you covered don't get scared these are the meanings they are not too big words they are just skincare terms so guys hope i've been able to answer some of your questions and help you to identify and know most of this skincare term so the next time you're buying a skincare product you'll be able to know what you're buying know what that particular term means so thank you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and know that i love you